Okay, so for those of you out there that are studying for GED, spe uh, specifically the, the GED math section, this is a nice little example problem that you should know uh, how to do. Okay, now you may not see something exactly like this on a GED, but you definitely need to understand um, how to interpret uh, these kind of graphical visual problems and solve them. So this is a real basic um, uh, problem. We'll see, um, I, what I would encourage you to do is, you know, I'm gonna give you the problem let me pause the video, see you know, how you do, and then I'll go over it. So what percentage, okay, here's the problem. So what percentage does this green sector uh, represent out of the entire circle, okay? So what percentage is the green sector out of the entire circle? So you might wanna pause um, uh, the video, and I would say maybe give yourself, oh, maybe one minute, okay? So because if you know what you're doing, you should be able to get this in, in one minute, maybe two. All right, so <laughs> go ahead and pause, and I'll go go over this video. I mean, I'll go over the solution. Okay, so let's take a look at the answer here. So very typical type of problem. Okay, so uh, what? First of all, you got you got to remember percent, right? Percent is always equal to the part out of the whole. Okay, out of the entire whole. Right, so. What we're going to do, we're going to end up with some sort of fraction, okay? And this is going to create a decimal, okay? And we're going to take this decimal, and we're going to and we're going to change it into a percent, all right? So let me ask you: this green slice here is is what part of this circle? Well, it's three, right? This could be total number of students or or whatever the case is. So in this case, the part is three, right? So what is the whole? What's the entire circle? Now, I bet you many of you put 14, okay? <laughs> and this is, you know, just from long experience, you're thinking, oh, okay, well, this is, this, this is the whole, so this is 14. Well, you'd be incorrect, right? The entire circle, the quantity, the entire circle is 14 plus 3, okay? So that's 17, 17. But if you made that mistake, if you went and you said, okay, that's 3 out of 14, first of all, you're, you're on the right track because you're showing that you understand that you know you're trying to deal with the part out of a whole, but common mistake. Okay, and this is uh, a big part of what you know they're kind of looking for uh, in the GED. Do you understand it? So you'll have to add up these different sectors. Now you might see it in terms of a of a of a circle or uh, other types of graphs. Very kind of common uh, problem. Okay, that's why I have it on here. So if you did three out of the seventeen, then that that's awesome. So now let's go ahead and get the percent. So three out of seventeen is is uh, how do we represent that represent that as a percent? So you might want to get your calculator out as well here, okay? So you're going to go into your calculator. You're going to take three and you're going to divide it by seventeen, okay? You're going to take three and divide it by seventeen. Not this is a very common mistake. Three divided by seventeen. That's what you're going to do. A lot of students they kind of flip things around and they end up going seventeen divided by three, okay? Because they don't like what they're seeing. Don't make that mistake. So three, right, is the numerator divided by 17 is going to give us like 0.1764. Then there's more digits here, but we'll just keep it as 0.1764. Okay, so we're not done yet. Okay, so we're able to, one, understand the, that uh, we got the right part out of the whole. Okay, then we used our calculator and we turned this into a decimal. Now... What we do, okay, is to represent this as a percent is to multiply this this part, this decimal answer by 100, okay? Now, the easiest way to do this is to just simply move the decimal point over two places to the right and you're done, okay? If you, if you forget that, just multiply by 100 and you'll be okay. So when I do this, if I move the decimal point two places over to the right, I'm going to get 17 point six four and now this is the percent okay seventeen point six four so this green sector here would be seventeen point six four percent of the circle so now let me ask you one other question what would the what would be the white part would represent what part or what percentage of the circle okay 
So percent, you always have just 100 percent. Okay, that's the as as it's just, you can't go beyond 100 percent. Well, you can in certain type of problems, but in this example, you, we're not going to be able to look for 110 percent of the circle. It's not visually here. Okay, so this is 100 percent of the circle. So if this is 17.64 percent of the circle, the white part would simply just be 100 minus the 17.64. So if you have your calculator, let's go ahead and do that real quick. So 100 minus 17.64, well, that should give us something like around 82.36%, okay? If you add these up, you got a total of 100%. Okay, so real straightforward type of problem, something that if you get this, uh, then you're likely gonna be prepared for um, uh, problems that are going to come up on a GD, very likely you're going to see something like this on a GD, some sort of uh, graphical interpretation. And they love percents, they love fractions, and you know everything else. Not too difficult to learn, but if you, um, you know, I certainly encourage you to go over this video again. And then, you know, um, uh, please, you know, subscribe to my channel. I'll do a ton of these type of videos, and uh, come over to my free uh, GD math course, GD math lessons. Let me write this out, gdmathlessons.com. I'll link uh, my site or uh, free course uh, in the description of this video as well. Okay, so thanks for watching and good luck.